Hey guys, Captain CA here with Flats Class YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about lure color, soft bait lure color. Uh, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of variations of about five or six different colors that you could choose. And today we're gonna to just talk about five that I feel work everywhere. It doesn't matter what water clarity is, depth, um, region, species you're targeting, I mean, if you gotta narrow it down. Now, selfishly, I could pick a lot more, but I just picked five to give you a starting point. So let's go down to the shop and uh, and let's break it down a little bit. And hopefully you're gonna learn something. Now. It is pretty windy outside. This is about the last week of March. And believe it or not, there's another cold front bearing down on the East Coast. And it's it, we're gonna just get the tail end of it. We're really not gonna feel any huge temperature change, but we are getting some breeze here. In fact, I had scheduled some shoots this week for Flats Class Television, and it looks like there's a really good chance they're not going to happen. I'm waiting to hear back from a couple of the guys that we were going to shoot with. But let's talk about five colors that I don't care where you fish. Um, I, I believe they'll work for you. I believe these are the types of base colors that are gonna help you with soft baits. Not, we're not talking about hard baits because hard baits, then we gotta start talking about metallic finishes and things like that. And hard baits have a way of, of allowing you to have several different colors within one bait. We're just talking about some base colors. Now I've done videos on color before and I enjoy doing them for certain times of year, targeting a certain species or or even if it comes down to certain light conditions and whatever. But let's just say you're gonna have a day box, okay? You're gonna take a day box and you're only gonna take a couple of colors. If that's the case, if you're gonna pack something in the Busby, um, probably the number one color I would pick. Now, I am a partner with Z-Man Fishing Products. You can take these same colors and, and pair them up with your favorite brand. That's up to you. But uh, Z-Man supports me, I support them. So number one color is Pearl Blue Glimmer. And inside Pearl Blue Glimmer here, I'll give you a, a, a closer look at this bait. You can see it's, it's kind of a frosty white bait, or if you will. And uh, there's a little bit of black pepper and a little silver flake in it, but for the most part, it's white and it's a little bit translucent. It's not completely see-through. I like this bait in a lot of clear water situations. It, it does well for me there. Uh, if I'm fishing shallow in, in bright sunny days, I'm typically throwing Pearl Blue Glimmer. And arguably, not gonna hide it, it's probably their number one seller over time, period. Best selling color they've ever had. I don't know of a, of a bass head or a serious inshore angler that doesn't have either that color or a subtle variation of that color in their box. So that would be number one. Number two would be some type of brown, whether it's brown pumpkin, root beer gold, something like that. Uh, one I almost always favor is the right stuff. And I'll give you an idea. I like this color for matching the bottom. Uh, it shows out in, in most instances, especially if you're targeting redfish or something like that. But this color is basically a brown base color, okay? And there is some copper and some gold flake and even a little silver flake in there. It's an old color that we used to call back in the day golden brim. But, uh, 
a young a young fisherman here in Florida has kind of revitalized, if you will, that color and made it pretty popular again. And Z-Man decided to uh, recognize him, so we call it the right stuff. So Jesse Wright, good for you. All right. So white, brown. Third color would be a green. Now that's depending if you like watermelon black flake or green pumpkin or watermelon's a little more translucent, green pumpkin's a little more solid. Um, not a lot of flake in it, but a color that works good for me in my region along the west coast of Florida. Doesn't matter if you're fishing down in 10,000 islands all the way down at the end of the state or if you're fishing up in the Big Bend in the Panhandle. I've always found that avocado red flake, a dark green with a little bit of red flake in it, um, has done fantastic for me. When I was a competitive angler, this color was kind of a go-to, and it was a go-to just not in the state of Florida. I mean, we used it in Louisiana, we used it in North Carolina and South Carolina and Georgia. Um, avocado red flake is just one of those colors I feel like is a solid choice, but anything in that darker, more opaque green. So now you've got white, brown, green. Definitely my top three. What's going to be next? Well, if you're fishing darker water, darker times, let's just say evening time or first light or anything like that, um, I like purple or black. Uh, I think purple or black do a great job. This is Purple Demon, which is kind of a combination of really dark purple, almost black, with more translucent purple on the bottom. But Purple Demon, to me, is is a confidence color. It's confidence for snook, it's confidence for tarpon, and it's because it shows out a silhouette. If you've got muddy water, or like I said, low light or deeper water, this color shows out well. Uh, it's easy for them to see in a distance, and um, because you see the shadow, you just see it. So purple, Definitely my number four. In fact, years ago, a couple of years ago, I did uh, I did a video saying purple just might be the best inshore color. And uh, we did some filming and we caught an awful lot of fish on purple. It's a color that doesn't get used a lot. Now the fifth color. A lot of this would be debatable, but because there's so much backwater in, in my area or Louisiana or many of the marshy zones along the Atlantic seaboard, I wanted a color that is good for tannin water, that tea stained water. Now you could always go with things that have bright oranges like New Paney or God help us, the fluorescent colors, pink and chartreuse, which would definitely get my number six selection, but we're only picking five. Only picking five, I'm picking Gold Rush, which is black and gold. A great color, all around color, always has been. Um, if I'm going to go with a bicolor bait for the five slot, it's definitely going to be this. It's got the flash, it's got the silhouette, and it's got that mullet slash mud minnow feel to it that makes inshore and backcountry fishing um, uh, it offers up a great choice, a great fifth place choice for you. So if you take these five baits, okay, and you really leverage them no matter where you go, I don't feel like you can go wrong. I really do. These five colors just work. I've always found that they work. Now, sure, I could have picked, like I said when we started, I could have picked a lot of, you know, back and forth colors with a dark back and a light belly and a lot of the bi colors, but all of those are situational deals. E even colors that are my custom colors are like that because we're trying to throw stuff that they don't see all the time. But if you want to kind of homogenize or just downsize to a box and have five colors, that will work anywhere. They are definitely these five colors. They work everywhere I've ever been. I always have. Um, pretty close to this in my box with me on every travel box that I put together. It just, they just simply work everywhere. I mean, they just, they have that appeal in so many different scenarios. It's foolish not to, to just have them with you. 
Okay, if you're learning stuff here at Flats Class YouTube and uh, it's helping your inshore game, we're putting more fish alongside of your boat so that you can hopefully release them so the rest of us can catch them. Well, give us that thumbs up. Um, every time you give us a like, it helps us trend and it builds this channel. And hit that notification bell. Um, you don't want to miss the tips that we have here or as we get closer to season 18 of Flats Class TV, you don't want to miss some of the television shows that we will drop right here. We've got a lot of fantastic destinations. And if this color tip uh, really intrigued you about getting, you know, something more out of your inshore fishing instead of just leaving it up to chance, well, you owe it to yourself to visit flatsclassuniversity.com. That's our online fishing school where we put together a whole system of videos, uh, if you will, a module system of videos where we teach you how to target specific zones or species or learn certain techniques. It's a subscription business um, that delivers you a plug to your mailbox every weekend, a plug or a soft bait or something like that with a video where I teach you how to use it, how to leverage it to catch more fish. So if that interests you, go to flatscastuniversity.com and check us out, see what we have to offer there. All right, that's all I've got for you on this brisk day here at the end of March. But I'm gonna jump back in the shop here and I'm gonna start working on another video. In the meantime, you guys keep those video, <laughs> keep those rods bent, I'll keep the videos coming. One of, one of the other is gonna happen, or hopefully both today.